Hey, what's up everybody? And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a wave in Illustrator. What I mean by a wave is this right here. So sort of a mobile art style wave. First, we're just gonna go ahead and create ourselves a new document. I'm gonna call it wave. Then we're gonna to go to the ellipse tool and we're gonna drag and make a circle. To do this, when you're dragging, hold shift and it'll make it into a perfect circle every time. Create a circle um, about as big as you want it to be, it doesn't really matter. Then we're going to go into the fill and we're gonna choose a nice blue color for it. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this color. You can do anything you want. You could make it a red wave, a green wave, anything is fine. Once we have our fill, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to turn off the stroke. So just click up here and go to none. So it now no longer has a stroke on it. We're then gonna go back into the ellipse tool and we're gonna draw a second ellipse. Now this ellipse is going to be cutting out of the first one, so this is where the wave is really created. I'm just gonna drag it. You're gonna to wanna to make it look kinda of like this, where you can see there's this, at the very bottom of the circle, there is a part where it goes small and then it gets larger as it becomes the wave. So you can adjust this around, you can do this a couple times to really find the look that you're going for. Now that you have two circles, highlight both of them and then you're going to hit on your keyboard shift and M at the exact same time. Or you can go over here and go to the shape builder tool and just click on that. Hold down alt on the keyboard so that the plus sign becomes a minus sign. See at the cursor there's a plus sign, hold it down so it becomes a minus sign. Click on the outside one, click on the inside one. And now we have our basic wave shape. From here we're gonna add a little bit of shading. The wave is looking great right now, but shading always makes it look better. So to do that, we're going to go into the pen tool. We're gonna to click about here. And then again, this is all style preference of where you want the shading to happen. It'll always give it a different look. And then, so what we're doing is we're creating a line. Now we're gonna fill in everything from the top. So just go all the way around it, make sure it's covering the entire top. We're gonna to go over into our transparency tab. If that's not open for you, just go to window and then down to transparency to open it we're going to make sure that it is selected and then we're going to hit screen at this point. And as you can see, it lightened up the top right here. So now we're gonna highlight both of them again, go to the shape builder tool, shift M again, this tool right here. We're gonna hold down alt again and click remove. And then now time to do the bottom part. So we're gonna grab the pen tool again. We're gonna go from here right across. I like to add a little curve so you click and drag go through it, then cover up the whole bottom. Doesn't matter how much, as long as the bottom is covered. And Make sure to re-anchor. Have it selected, and here, I'm gonna go with a color burn. So we're gonna highlight both again. Shift M them both again, and click remove. And there you have it. A nice, cool looking wave. You can use it in icons, or use it in game art, or anything like that. Thanks for joining me for this quick tutorial on how to make a wave in Adobe Illustrator. Remember to subscribe, rate, and I'll see you guys next time.